So as I mentioned at the end of the last video, there is a problem with the M unit. Um, M's are super convenient for some things. We're going to see some use cases where I use them all the time. But when we use them for font size, it can create this weird cascading effect where things just get out of control and it can be really, really bad. <laughs> um, so if we come and look, I'm just continuing where we left off. Nothing is different from before. What I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to keep my font size at 10 pixels. So it's really, really tiny on my body. But what I'm going to do on section one is I'm going to give section one um, a font size to 2M. So the font size on my section one is twice as big as on the rest of it. But if we come and look at what's actually happened is now this is an H2 and this is an H2, but this H2 is huge. And why is it so much bigger? And this is size 10. This is not 1.5 times bigger than that. It, this is not 15 pixels, but I have my list here is set to 1.5M. So why is it so gigantic? I mean, what, what's going on? And to make matters even worse, why not? You know, we can make this even crazier. On my list items themselves, if I decided to set a font size of 1.5M, just for fun, you know, why not? <laughs> um, all of a sudden, they're massive. You know, this is it's getting out of control, literally getting out of control. And if you had other nested elements, it can get even worse and worse and worse because it's looking at the font size of the parent. So right now, my list item is looking at the font size of my list. And it's going to be 1.5 times bigger than my list. So it's doing this multiplication through all of these different elements until it finally, you know, multiplies all. So we're going from 10 times 2. So we're at 20 times 1.5. We're hitting 30. And then we're going times 1.5. So, you know, it's getting massive. It's just getting out of control big. That's also why my section 1 has a font size of 2M. My H2 has a font size of 2M. So we're getting that cascading effect even here, which is why if we look here, my H2 at the top here is a lot bigger than my H2 that's down here, even though their font size is set to the same value. And it's because it's this one is multiplying that 2M by the 1.5M to get to this total gigantic size. If you're really good and you really know how to control this stuff, maybe you can do this on purpose and get away with it but there's a solution that just makes our lives so much easier. So I don't do this. I don't mess around with M's for font size. So let's go and see what the solution is.